scientists have been able to trace out the nerves that or is the nails just now previously we have drawn a spinal cord isn't it we have drawn a spinal cord and these spinal cord have 31 pairs of nerves we are already studied so after the research work that should be done by this stephen hales and the leonardo da vinci okay this is a spinal cord don't think uh, it's a madras statue it's not a lord shiva statue okay spinal cord so what they thought and what they observed uh, after uh, dissection of this uh, brain dead frog from brain to spinal cord these nerves that means few nerves are originated from brain and they are moved to the spinal cord okay so the nerves which are originated from brain the nerves which are originated from brain are called as cranial nerves don't forget that cranial nerves the nerves which are originate from brain are called cranial nerves how many pairs of cranial nerves i said 12 pairs don't forget 12 pairs of cranial nerves 12 right so and the nerves which are originated from spinal cord spinal cord okay or 31 pairs what are they spinal nerves spinal nerves so cranial nerves and a spinal nerves these are 31 these are 12 these two together constitute peripheral nervous system now we have to study about this peripheral nervous system okay so this central nervous system and spinal cord that is a, a two together called as peripheral nervous system central nervous system means brain and spinal cord when these two are together that is 31 plus 12 43 pairs 43 pairs of peripheral nervous system that is p and s okay now let us go and study about this uh, peripheral nervous system if you observe a spinal cord see uh, okay i will draw a uh, outline that is a block diagram of spinal nerve right this is a spine okay this is a spine likewise 31 30 two spines are there spinal nerves are 31 spines are 32 mukhay rendu mukalu unde all these 32 vertebras to make a vertebral column vertebral column vertebral column means column a small pillar like structure this is the spine no we have already studied and have observed we go through the textbook and if you observe see this spinal cord this is the spinal cord right have you gone through observe see there are 31 pairs of spinal spines okay all these are 32 spines to form a vertebral column now these are also undergo for dissect this uh, spine this is a one vertebra vertebra okay 
they all these constitute to vertebral column they are uh, undergo for a transverse section so when vertebra is going to be undergo for transection uh, that is a transverse section this is one spinal cord that is peripheral nervous system children have you that is one spine okay how many spines are there 32 all together called as vertebral column so here when we observe see our self is a ventral and our self is a dorsal so anything see this is a a, a small a mobile this is surface area this is ventral side and this is dorsal side see any object have dorsal and ventral okay both of them have dorsal and ventral sides right now study about this peripheral nervous system okay this peripheral is experimentally uh, proved by two more scientists who are they charles bell charles bell and uh, franco is megazord franco is megazord franco is franco is megazord mazandai don't spell that okay so this is the way how the scientists are going to be undergo for break the breaking means dissect don't say that dissecting the spinal cord one spine by transverse section so who dissected charles bell and franco is megazord so franco is megazord belonging to friends and charles bell is belonging to scotland okay these two were examined in the 19th century see these are all very very important for half mark your pattern is changed isn't it so you have to name them and also you have to remember the uh, names of the persons don't forget that okay so these are the two scientists who is going to be uh, under for experimental proof and what are the different uh, uh, nerves which are present in uh, our our vertebral column okay so they find some sort of roots originated from spinal cord this is called as spine how they are uh, said how they said means these are the roots see if you observe this is a, just like a, a tap root system and these are all sub roots or dot roots that's why they are normally uh, named as roots of spinal cord but they are not roots they are spinal nerves which are move to different organs of our body suppose these two hands and legs are working how they are working because of these spinal nerves without uh, spinal nerves you should not work because they are going to give the information sending the information from the brain to spinal cord or spinal cord to brain these two are inculcated and uh, undergo responded everything without this uh, brain and spinal cord there is no responding in our body and there is no response also there is no nerve stimulation then there is no response that's why if you go and uh, um pinch of a, a person who was a, a polio polio person and he didn't express any uh, pain or uh, anything because the nerves are dead of course if you go for cut the blood is to be bleeded that is different but nerve do not show any action okay right so what they did means they did uh, the dorsal part of a uh, nerves they are going to cut what they did they are going to observe the dorsal root of a spine and what they did they are going to cut the nerve of a 
spinal death. There is no obvious reaction because they are going to cut the dorsal nerve. Okay. So what did they do? Dorsal and ventral I say. Dorsally sensory neurons they are going to cut. They didn't show any action. But ventrally motor neurons when they are going to take a needle and going to pinch immediately it's going to be give a jerk. Means the nerves are two nerves which are have different functions. Sensory means which is from brain. Motor is from spinal cord to the particular organ. Suppose any mosquito may bite. Immediately we are responding and we are going to hit that where the mosquito crawl and suck. When do you get that information? A sting or pierce or protrude into the skin of the thigh or underneath the knee. If the mosquito is going to bite, you are going to be hit like this? No. Means it's going to give information. Yeah, in a proportion of your right thigh, muscle is going to get ready to bite and you are going to get pain. Isn't it? Such kind of actions. Am I clear? So, they are violently connected. Whenever this uh, uh, ventral nerve cord is going to be touched, these organs are violently reacted. Immediately it shows why. Suppose all of a sudden, we are all listening a lesson. One boy who is going to pinch on the back of a person, immediately he is going to be blow his huh, like that. How this is to be happening? Because he was pinched on the skin. Okay. So what happens here? The skin is a sensory nerve. Or the boy is going to pierce him with a, uh, some instruments, pencil or some other things. Immediately you are going to destroy. Isn't it? So here, these are uh, I will show you again the dorsal and the ventral nerves of this diagram. Right? So, this is called as a dorsal region root. Dorsal means sensory neuron. Means interneuron. Interneuron means there is a connection in between the brain and the spinal cord. It is called interneuron. So, this is called as a dorsal horn. Okay? This is ventral horn. Ventral means motor, dorsal means sensory. Okay. So, this ventral root has spinal cord. Suppose we are stamped on a sharp edged tool. What happens immediately? We are lifting up of our leg. Isn't it? In which leg we are stamped on it? In which leg we are going to pierce in the spine or any other nail? Am I clear, children? So, what happens this uh, spinal nerve? is going to information through the dorsal region of a sensory nerve. Immediately it gives response to brain within the fraction of seconds. It should not be take a day or a two or a hour. Fraction of seconds. Okay. One by uh, one lakh of a second it is going to be connected. That much of very fast show reflections. There are two types, conditional and unconditional reflexes. What kind of reflex is conditional? Because we have stamped on a hot object or a, a pointed tool, immediately brain is recognized and we are lifting up the leg. Right. So, what they understood is in 1822, dorsal root carry messages sensation. So, dorsal side of vertebral forum carries sensory messages. Isn't it? Suppose we are moving on the road. So, a boy who is playing, who is playing a, with a top, bonger, and who is playing and who is playing the uh, top, and it is going on uh, circulatory motion. We are observing, we are all moving on the road. So, what happens all of a sudden, that the top is going on circulated, we move away from the top. Because they are playing, we should not go for a distance. That means our sensory neuron gives information to the brain. The boys are playing with the top, so we have to move away from that. So immediately what to do? Our legs are going to be moved turn because the sensory nerves of our brain is giving information to our spinal cord. Spinal cord is responded, given information to leg. So because of that, motor organs are take left or right direction and not to move in a forward direction. 
or in a sprite so suppose a dog is to be a run and which is move towards us what to do immediately we have to stop it because our eyes are going to give information the dog is move or runs very fast so better to stop not to go for run if you run means it's going to get ready to bite if you stop like like that means immediately the dog is not supposed to become because we have stopped it is it and we are also to move see like that means immediately the dog move away from you this wrong by both sensory and the motor organs or motor neurons very very important if you are feared about the dog means it will bite you immediately and not only that uh, dog even monkeys also most of them are they are feared about the monkey because they are going to be like that immediately or anything no you have to stand and take a stick then immediately they will move away from them see you should not fear about this first you have to stand by there then no organism should not go for charge you or it should not be uh, damaged right so in 1822 what they said means what they identified means on the dorsal part of the vertebral column have sensory neurons and the ventral part of the spinal cord have motor neurons these two are incorporated okay interpreted with each other and give responses to the spinal cord spinal cord is going to be activated and immediately it's going to show a response is it so the peripheral nervous system is a vast system this is a vast system with both uh, our sensory neurons and uh, motor neurons of a spinal cord and a brain vast nervous system without this vastness how we are going to be move in our daily life only because of brain and spinal cord don't forget without spinal cord without brain you should not move an inch also i said these words are again and again not less than 20 to 30 times okay we thought of it we are doing everything nonsense we are not supposed to do anything that is to be by a brain according to the situation uh, according to the spinal cord according to your uh, move okay so several functions of reasons like uh, our internal organs are also blood okay blood vessels smooth and cardiac muscles so it is called as autonomic nervous system this pn is consisting of a autonomic nervous system suppose i would like to get ready to uh, give a flap means immediately you are going to close your eyes it is not a autonomic nervous system means involuntary the brain is not going to be involved so all of a sudden when the petter pattern brain drops may fall immediately we are going on blinking of our eyelids is it not involuntary and in our heart blood is going on circulating and the blood is going to pump out from heart to different parts of the body again the veins are carrying from uh, carrying uh, blood from leg part to our heart right part of the heart so this is involuntary so the our body shows involuntary actions and the voluntary actions because of pns and a and s pns means peripheral nervous system but for both brain and uh, sensory neurons and motor neurons and activated whereas uh, a and s autonomic nervous system means it is a vol- involuntary you should not do command anything suppose we eat a breakfast in the 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock in the morning that is to be undergo for digestion afterwards you have to sit at a, a lunch at 1 or 1:30 in the afternoon that means how many hours gap not less than 4 hours so what i mean that the digestion is completed in the stomach region that is by 70% not full total digestion takes us not less than 30 to 40 hours we are already discussed in the first lesson of your digestion in the animals don't forget anything right so this is the way how sensory neurons and motor neurons are or activated and cardiac muscles cardiac muscles are also beat their heart by 76 times or in the children of age of 1 month or 1 day baby or 6 months babies 150 times okay a sportsman 
their heartbeat is 60 because they are doing some sort of uh, yoga and pranayama right so these are the different ways of uh, heartbeat and different ways of uh, blood which should be circulated and the blood uh, uh, the heart consisting of cardiac muscle which is an involuntary in action and lungs which show an involuntary in action okay thank you